So remember the summer when I read to you one of my short stories? Well, this semester I'm in a playwriting class and I wanted to read to you a monologue scene that I've written. Time, early morning, around 5. Place, Missouri. Setting, the living room of a babysitter and her current husband. There's a couch in the center, angled front towards stage left, and a fish tank to stage left. A blanket is folded on one of the couch cushions, and there are toys on the ground. Lights rise. Shannon, 34, is standing in front of the couch where Jane, 6, is holding a pillow close. Shannon. Sweetie, you know that Brian can't play today. He was caught taking stuff from his sister's room, and Mark and I are really trying to teach him that his actions have consequences. Remember how you had to sit in the corner for putting up that bad finger in front of Mark? Jane opens her mouth to speak, but Shannon shakes her head. Shannon. I know you didn't know what it meant, but Brian knows what he's doing. He's a little older than you, and he has to learn no lesson, so he's staying in the room for the day, and you're not allowed to see him. Jane. But Shanna, his face looked hurt. Shanna looks nervous and tries to wave this off. He's fine, dear. We just had to scare him a bit. You know how he gets. He thinks he can do whatever he damn wants, but he can't, and acting the way he does is just stupid. Remember when he took your candy? You don't want to have him to do that again, do you? No. So we have to teach him to fear the consequences. So don't worry about Brian. You'll be able to play with him tomorrow, and maybe some of your polite and respectfulness will rub off on him because he's looking for trouble where he's going, not like you. You're smart and have a future. I tell him all the time to use you as an example, but that just seems to piss the kid off. Jane looks shocked and Shana walks over and passes the girl's head. Shana. Oh, I'm sorry, Jane. I mean, I just, it just seems to make him mad. But you should go out to with Carly. She's not in trouble. Not today, anyways. Maybe you can ask her to give you a makeover. I would do it, but I should probably go get the kids from Mrs. Franklin's next door. She gets really cranky if I leave them there for more than an hour. Don't forgive me that look, Missy. I'll let you watch me this afternoon while I go see Lucas. You remember Lucas? He brought us lunch yesterday. Jane nods and Shannon does a ponytail in her hair. Remember when you watch Pain and you don't have to take a nap? It's not fun. And yes, we are not doing this time, so you won't need to complain about it. And remember, Jane, this is our secret. I know your mom doesn't like to drink your soda, but as long as you don't tell her about watching the baby, I won't say anything about the soda. Deal? She only takes the compact out of her pocket and puts her lipstick. Carly, get down here, play with Jane. See, you and Carly have a great time. Carly walks on stage right and stops here on the couch. Carly, you really got to stop wearing those tank tops. They just show off your man shoulders. Do you see Jane's shoulders? They're nice and so just like a woman's shoulders should be. How does they get, got your father's shoulders? Or does your mom have man's shoulders too? You know what? It doesn't even matter. What matters is you have to dress to hide that if you want to get a man. In the meantime, Jane here, take Jane here to put on some makeup while I get the kids from Mrs. Franklin's. Shannon watch, walks off stage left and the lights fade. So, what do you think about that monologue? Let me know in the comments. Bye.